okay today we're gonna be making a white oak dresser it's made out of uh, solid white oak and I'm using also half inch plywood with white oak veneer uh, it's actually pretty big so I'm gonna do double frame the frame I'm gonna make it out of a solid white oak and the back frame also I'm doing double frame on this one since it's gonna it's pretty big it's gonna be pretty heavy I need to make sure it's uh, pretty strong so I'm doing the rabbits for the uh, for the front frame and the back frame right now I'm doing the I'm also right here I'm gonna be doing the dado uh, dado for the for the deck and for the uh, there's gonna it's gonna have a shelf it's gonna have four drawers on top of the fourth drawer it's gonna be a shelf like a cubicle and then the top so I'm doing double um, double double dado so it could uh, pick a lot stronger now we we after doing the dado I will be cutting out the face the the face frames it's gonna be having double frame so I'm putting frame in the front and in the back I'll be doing on both sides dado on both of the panels make sure that you know do them at the same time of course you want to make sure that they're the right exact uh, measurement both of them similar <laughs> if not you'll have a, a, a dresser so it won't even be square after that uh, right here I'm starting with the face frames This is a very simple piece, actually. By the way, I mean it's it's very not complicated. It's just pure straight cut. It's taking me about well, it will be taking me about a day and a half to make. I like I like sanding the sides, the edges with the with the edge sander. Well, I mean I I sit it down. I don't put it up from the. Uh, from the edge, I, 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 you can see the edge sander. I put it on, uh, like I don't know how you call it, valley top, and uh, I sand the edges first, and then I will be doing um do the one quarter inch rabbit, because I'm I'm gonna assemble it with a tenon and groove. I'm doing the groove on the face frames. gotta be careful with these routers man especially even though they're overhead I mean they're pretty still they're still pretty dangerous there you can see the quarter inch and it's gonna be going on the panels I do them all make sure they're all the exact same size you can see right now I can show you how it's gonna go in it actually snaps on very easy and it gives you a very very straight edge you can see that it snaps right in very simple so right now I'm gonna start gluing it together I'm gonna glue the front and the back piece oh I'm right here I'm actually doing another dado that's that's where I'm telling you is gonna be the shelf which we're gonna the cubicle we're gonna start the last top drawer is gonna finish and that's where the cubicle is gonna start now that I have both um, dados on there I will be gluing the face frames Very simple. I try not to be messy with the glue. I mean, you know, it's good you put enough, of course, but I mean, it just it just drips all over the place. And when I'm using white oak, since the finish is gonna be a very light finish, almost no color at all. It's very, very light stain. You gotta be careful. I don't let a lot of um, glue and you know it, the it'll be it'll give you a hard time to sand it down so you can take out all the glue if you put you use way too much glue I use just enough 
and um, then I will be clamping it together once I put the back side of the frame right here I flip it over to put the back side snap it in place and then we're ready to clamp. I like using the pony clamps. I think the Jorgensen pony clamps. I mean, those are amazing. I, I love using those. I, I've always used those for about, you know, I've been using them for like more over 20 years now. You'll see it right now. And then we can put on the clamps. I try to be careful how I how I position the clamp. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to uh, tighten up too much where the frame kind of curves. Then we won't have a straight frame. So you want to be careful how you, uh, clamp, you know, tighten up those clamps. Now that with the excess glue, I, you know, I have a little gallon here. I, you want to clean it up as much as you can, actually. I mean, you know, especially when you're using like a delicate wood or solid wood, it's more expensive with veneer. You gotta be careful. You clean out all the all the glue. If not, when you try to shave it down, the you could shave off the veneer and expose the plywood, and then you will have a big problem, especially when you're using a a, a light stain. And if you can see here, it has an extra like about a one sixteenth that comes out of the sides, and I will be shaving that down very easily with a flush trim. And it'll give you a, a very smooth, even fin, even, even, even side, even edge. Right here, I'm doing the flush trim. I love using this Makita um, routers. They're amazing. Very simple. You don't have to be changing blades all the time. Now I do the flush trim, shave off the excess, which was about a sixteenth of an inch. Actually, it's too much. You don't want to have that. you can see it gives you a very even clean clean side and then I'll be doing all that all the way with uh, on that panel and the back and the other panel on the back side I mean just want to make sure you have a clean right here I'm cutting the, the deck and I'm gonna be cutting the this is the uh, the shelf that's gonna be on top of the last drawer now I'm cutting out the I'm cutting out the rabbit or you can say the dado on the sides. This is where gonna. This is where I'm gonna be sliding in uh, the back panel, the back part. I don't do it all the way because I want the top. Uh, what is it? Rail to be going. Uh, you know, to be able to, uh, you know, screw it in place solidly. I don't want to have a groove in the middle of the screw. This is I'm, I'm, this is where I'm doing the what is it the, the dado or shaving I'm shaving off a quarter inch by half inch deep and that's gonna be for the top piece. That's why when I slide in the the back part, then I can cover finish it off with this piece. I'm doing a pocket hole on these because you know I it's gonna be a very light stain I can't put screws to the end to the through the ends I have to put a pocket hole so that way we won't see any screws on the sides of the panel and it could be it's I mean I could clamp it and leave it I'm, I'm gonna clamp it and I'm gonna put pocket holes just to so I could hold on a lot more stronger and then this is where you can see it all assembled with the bottom deck and the top, uh, the end of the where the shot where the cubicle gonna start, and this is what you have the complete. That's pretty much how big it's gonna be. Now going on the detail, this is the back panel. I already made the groove as you saw earlier, and I slide in the back panel. I use a quarter inch ply. I'm putting a divider here also. I'm actually, you know, I want to save on some plywood. I'm the the piece that's gonna be showing. I'm gonna put a, a 
a quarter inch uh, white oak plywood but right here i'm gonna put a divider in you know it, it gives a little bit of a more um makes it a little stronger it's just you know i want to be more safe it's just a real big piece it's 51 inches wide you know you, don't, you and it's only i'm only using half inch plywood all around so you gotta be careful i want to make it strong enough I love using these Craig clamps. I mean, it's, it's helped me out a lot. It makes my job a lot easier, especially when you're using a, a pocket holes. Wow, it's very good clamps. I love them. I have a big, it has a big plate so that you can, uh, once you clamp it together, it's very smooth and flush with the other piece. So now we put on the bottom ply, and I'm going to put in the top one. The top one, this one's got actually just quarter inch birch. The other one, since you're not, that one's not going to be visible, the drawers are going to be right there. But the other top piece, it's going to be visible since it's going to be a cubicle. So I'm using a quarter inch with a white oak veneer. Very simple, it slides right in. Then I will be putting the top piece. That's the one I was shaving down earlier. Slides right in place, clamp it down, and put some pocket screws. It's actually very simple. I mean, when you use, it's just straight cut, and it looks really nice. White oak is a very, it's 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 catching along again now. It's coming up, it's getting very popular again, and uh, it's it's giving a it gives a very nice solid finish. Once we put all the pocket screws, then uh, we're going to the next step, which will be working on the, uh, since these, these are gonna have a drawers, but uh, they're really big drawers, and I'm gonna put a face frame inside but that is not gonna show once the drawers are on there. So I put it on with, well, this is actually the first, the top frame. This one is visible, so it's gonna, I'm putting it with pocket tool and I'm gonna nail it to the, to the half inch ply you see, you can see right now. And here we go. That that piece goes in the face from that one is gonna be showing. Then we screw it on through the pocket hole that I made on the bottom and I'll put some nails in the front. Just very few nails, small 18 18 gauge bad nails. And this will be the base. The base piece of the frame. Everything is flush. It's just, I, I, I think it just makes it a very nicer look. It's more modern look. And then I will be putting the pocket holes on that one too. And then we're ready. Right here, we will, I mean, I'm putting another frame that's going to be inside of the drawers. This is going to give it a lot more stability. Uh, I want to have some frame. Even though it's not going to show, but it's just going to make it a lot stronger. We, you know, I got to keep in mind right here, this one's, this is a pretty big, wide dresser. It's like 51 inches wide. The drawers are going to be about 48 inches wide. So I want to put an extra frame in the front, inside, and that'll make it a lot stronger. You see right here, I'm putting pocket holes there. I use a lot of pocket holes. I mean, pocket holes, I never used to use them that much. I used to use only dowels, but pocket holes... Uh, that system it works really good it's very strong especially if you use the correct screws uh, I 
finish this i'm showing you though i'm showing you one of the dividers but i will be putting three more since it's gonna be four drawers i need four spaces and i'll show you right now I like using those uh those vice grips they're amazing i mean it just helps you and i i put these templates so it could give me the exact height and it won't move on you i mean you don't want to have it move even in one sixteenth of an inch it'll mess up the whole drawers and there you see you have i have all three of them on there and those are all the divide the divi dividers for the four drawers it gives it a lot more uh, it makes it a lot stronger since like, like i said it's pretty wide Right here is pretty much the finished piece. Now I'm just gonna be putting on the, you know, the spacers for the for the, to where so I could hold the the undermount. I'm gonna be using undermount drawer slides. I like I said now I use templates for everything. I use the template for the height, and I use it for the same side side. Uh, you you don't want to try to go by measuring with your, just measuring tip and using that only marking it. No. I, I like using a template as I am right here. I'm using a three quarter inch plywood. It could be whatever you want, just so it can sit perfectly where you want it to be. And it could be straight from front and back. If it's moved just a bit, your drawer front's not gonna be level. And then you're gonna be noticing all those flaws later. So I'm trying to avoid all that. I wanna have it all very straight from the front, the front spacer and the back spacer. Very, very, uh, back part of the spacer to be very straight. After putting all four of them, I put on the, the other uh, the other piece of the frame that's gonna be on the top. That one's gonna be screwed on through the bottom. It's gonna go through and screw the top on. There you go. That's pretty much the whole frame right there. The whole body. Now right here I'll be working on the on the drawer front. They're gonna be practically shaker with a slight little sh uh, chamfer in the uh, in the inside. Cutting the the rails and the styles. And after doing the router with the styles and the rail bit, then I glue on the each drawer front they're all going to be exactly the same so it's it's made it very easy for me and there you go start assembling every drawer front with the quarter inch uh, veneer plywood with the uh, white oak veneer. Put in the other side and then just assemble it right. Make sure it's very square uh, and clamp it down and that's it. Very simple. I kind of screwed up on one of the sides. You can see the groove on the other side. It shouldn't have that. Once you make sure it's very straight, very uh, square, you can see that's pretty much, that's just one drawer from, they're pretty long, like I said, they're pretty big, but it's gonna look pretty nice. After clamping it, take off the clamps, clean it up a little bit. I clean up the excess glue. Like I said, I try to avoid you putting too much glue on these pieces. I mean, you just gotta put enough so you can know it's gonna stick and it's gonna hold very well. You don't wanna just to put too much glue. I'm, I'm not a fan of that. Cause then you have to be scraping out all the glue, especially through the in, inside corners. Then you damage the inside of the frame of the drawer of the of the shaker. I mean, you know, you, you could just use enough glue where it's gonna hold good and it's not gonna just squeeze out through the edges. It's you know too much where you're gonna have to do a lot of cleanup. And now I'm here passing it through the drum sander. This is an amazing drum sander. I have the Supermax 37. 
Oh, I love it. It just gives you a very, 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 very uh, smooth surface. And there you have it. Pass all four of them. There are four drawer fronts, and that's it. Now here I'm gonna be putting on some of the. Uh, it's a support, so I could screw the top on. Very simple. These vice grips, these are hand grips actually. They're uh, they're the pony grips. They're amazing. They have, a, you know, they're pretty strong. They hold very well. There you go. I put it all around, of course, to the sides, the back. I'm missing that side. I'll put it on right now. But uh, that's gonna be screwed on. It's gonna be support so I can screw on to the top. And now I'm starting to put some lacquer on the drawer fronts. It, it's gonna be a light stain, so I put lacquer first. I put one coat of lacquer, then I'll sand it, and then I'll put the stain. It's very nice, beautiful wood, I love it. And after uh, doing one coat of uh, varnish, uh, I will be preparing it for a light stain. But first, we're going to be putting on the. Uh, I like to put on the, the drawer slides. And then I'll just do one last coat of paint after I put the, st the actual light stain, one coat of uh, light stain, and then uh, another coat of varnish. A couple coats just so it could uh, protect it well and have a smooth finish, and it'll be finished very nice I like I said you can see right here I use again those templates to hold the drawer slide in place so they could very so they could be very straight front and back that way you won't have problems with your drawer front and this is my drawer box I just use half inch plywood I mean uh, I don't do any dovetail right now very smooth very easy and all four of them are already in place. Now I'm putting in the on the drawer fronts. Uh, I use a little thin template, like a little, it's like a jig. I it's just a piece of stick. It gives me about one eighth, so it could have a height already, and it could give me a very straight. Uh, you know, it, it actually gives me a very straight. Uh, it makes it very straight, very even. I don't have a problem, you know, trying to even it out. I use a 23 gauge pin nailer so I could hold it in place. Then I pull it out and I put screws through the inside. And after doing this to all four of them, having them all straight, screw them on in place. It's almost finished. You'll see the you see it right now. There you go. That's one. I do it to all four of them. Then uh, I'm gonna put a light stain. Like I said, I had already varnished this, but I like to assemble it to put the last coats on, and just so I could have an even finish. And you can see right now I'm putting on a very light stain. Uh, and that's pretty much it. That's the full color. And it's very easy. Thank you for watching my videos. Uh, uh, I'm trying to get better at this. I'm not having, this is just a couple of videos that I've put on so far. But uh, I'll try to get better at this. Get a better better video quality. It's more, you know, more, more content to entertain you. But, um. Thank you for watching. Here you have the finished product now. You can see it in the next couple seconds. I'll show you how it looks. 
Oh, of course, I have to even out the stain, right? But now it's going to be looking really nice with the top. Like I said, thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe to my videos. Uh, more support. I'll give you some better videos. And it was just so I could help you. I'll maybe give you a, a few clues or a few tips on how I made this piece. Thank you for watching again.